There is new video emerging of a protest at Yale Law School last week, moments before the cops had to be called in. As you know, Yale has a policy of freedom of speech. The event was ironically about the importance of free speech, featuring a liberal atheist and a conservative Christian looking to find common ground. And the speakers were great with that. It was the people in the audience who had the problem with it. One of those panelists joins us right now, General Counsel for the Alliance Defending Freedom, Kristen Wagner, joins us from D.C. Kristen, why did, what was their problem with the speaking to, uh, that day? It's difficult to say. I mean, the whole point of the panel was to demonstrate civil discourse between two ideological opponents and to show that where you can find common ground in the law, you should to protect civil liberties. Um, they were more interested, these students, in heckling, hurling insults and shouting down the speakers than engaging in civil dialogue. And I understand, and it started before anybody actually said a thing officially. And, you know, ultimately, I understand you feel uh, that it felt like a powder keg, that you, you felt like you were in danger. Well, the situation was very volatile. I was disappointed that's the only video. There's audio of the event as well that demonstrates that these students were not only physically intimidating the other students and the speakers, they were pounding on the walls, blocking the exits, um, and disrupting the event throughout. It, it was very unfortunate and alarming and volatile. Um, and, and it shouldn't take place on a, on a law student campus in a yeah. law school classroom. Th that's exactly right. These are future lawyers who are protesting uh, you being there. Uh, Yale Law School put out a statement, and it, it's curious, and I want your opinion on it. They say, Yale Law School follows the university's free speech policy, which includes a three-warning protocol. Their staff spoke to Yale police officers who were already on hand about whether assistant might be, assistance might be needed in the event the students did not follow those instructions. Fortunately, that assistance was not needed, and the event went forward until its conclusion. Members of the administration are nonetheless in serious conversation with students about our free speech policies, expectations, and norms as well. Uh, the statement says assistance was not needed, but somebody called the cops and they had to put you in a police car to get you out. You're absolutely right. I, I think it's alarming that the students engaged in this behavior. This wasn't a protest. This was physical intimidation and bullying that took place in the presence of Yale administration. But what's more disturbing about this is that there's audio and Yale is blatantly misrepresenting what happened. Um, we felt that the situation was volatile. It wasn't just me. Um, it was the PD that was there. We were escorted out. And again, I just want to underscore the importance that Yale administrators shouldn't be cowering to mobs. They should be insisting on embracing a culture of free speech. What does this say to you about what goes on at Yale or what goes on on American campuses these days? These are America's future leaders. They're our future lawyers, our jurists, our legislators, our corporate executives. And it's essential that we do not allow mobs to rule, that we engage in debate. The best lawyers are winsome, they write well, and they engage in critical thinking. And Yale needs to return to those basic skills and teach their kids and their students that. If they invited you back, would you go back? In a heartbeat, I all it did was deepen my resolve. They need to hear and be able to debate these important issues of our day. Well, that's what law, uh, Yale Law School needs to do. They need to say, you know what? Uh, we were cut short. Let's do it again, and let's see what happens.